Hello there, Fernie Boy 100 here. Today I wanted to talk about the atmosphere. I get a lot of people messaging me saying that, you know, like you're wrong because the atmosphere spins with the earth and, and it moves at the same speed as the earth, which is a thousand miles an hour. And so, like I say, there's this claim that the atmosphere moves in the same direction as the earth spins at the same speed. Now, this doesn't really add up and I'm going to show you why. We know that clouds are a part of the atmosphere. They're just moisture in the atmosphere. They're going to move with the atmosphere. Clouds are part of the atmosphere. I, I don't really know anybody that's going to deny that or argue with it. So we need to somehow see the earth or, or see the clouds moving with the surface of the earth like the claim is, like, like I hear all the time, is that you know the atmosphere moves with the earth. So we need to see that as well. And like I say, we know that the clouds are a part of the atmosphere. And so let's look into this in this short video and uh, let's see if the claims match up what we see. Um, as you know, science is a, a process of observing and, and seeing what is going on through observation. So let's do that. Now, another thing I want to say is that it's actually not even scientifically possible for gas to be moving like a solid. Um, what's going to travel further, like a golf ball or a ping pong ball? Um, golf ball has a little bit more mass, and we can see the distances that um, that golf ball travels. When somebody hits it from the tee off, and then we've got you know a ball the same size, but it's a ping pong ball, and it's filled with air, and so it doesn't have as much mass. So, is it going to travel as far as the golf ball? No, of course not. Scientifically impossible. And so the same theory holds to the atmosphere moving at the same speed of, as the earth. It's just not feasible. And and I've also heard the argument that, oh, since it's a vacuum in outer space, that that's why it's possible. No, it's not. They don't have the same inertia. And and so we're going to look at a few short video clips, and we're going to see if the uh, atmosphere travels with the surface of the earth, like literally thousands of people believe. There's thousands of people out there that believe that the atmosphere moves with the Earth. And uh, so let's see. With these time-lapse videos, here you can see the, the star trails and, and uh, time-lapse video of stars moving at night. And I've got some really interesting video clips here that we're going to look at. And so here we got a video that... It's showing what the atmosphere is doing, and can you see how there's different directions that the air is moving? So the atmosphere here in this video is not moving with the surface of the Earth. If it was, those clouds would be above the houses, because that is the surface of the Earth. And yet we're seeing all kinds of different directions going on here. Um, there's nothing in this video to suggest that the atmosphere is moving with the surface of the Earth. And oh, here we got another one. And, and now look closely at we're talking about some large air masses in the atmosphere and see how they're going the different directions and not only that but look at the amount of movement like like the atmosphere is supposed to be moving with the surface of the earth well we can see the surface of the earth here you can see the buildings on the ground are the clouds you know staying above them no they're not they're going all different directions We're all you know and on a large scale like it's not just a little bit uh, a few clouds going one way, a few clouds going the other way. We've got huge air masses moving all over the place, which shows that, you know, really that claim cannot possibly be true that the atmosphere is spinning with the surface of the Earth. It cannot possibly be true. And the other funny thing is that they say that the atmosphere and its movement is caused by the Earth's rotation, but it's not. The weather systems are caused by the sun heating up some air and other air in the atmosphere cooling off. It's not caused by the Earth's rotation at all. It has nothing at all to do with the Earth's rotation. It has to do with temperature and, and the sun having heated up certain air masses and, and other air masses have cooled off 
And so it causes a difference in temperature, and that's what causes the circulation in the atmosphere. It has nothing to do with the Earth's rotation. There is no rotation. It's a myth. The Earth is not rotating. The weather systems are from temperature changes. And now here we've got a video. It's showing the star trails. and um, Again, we can see the, the, the clouds having nothing whatsoever to do with the, the, the travel path of the stars. I mean, that the... the the, root, the, the stars are taking it, that's supposed to be the rotation of the Earth. And like here again, we can see like the mountain there on the left, and that's the surface of the Earth. But like look at all the weird things going on with the atmosphere. Now there's several things wrong in this clip. Now, see the stars rising to the top of the screen? That is supposed to be the stars, and, and that movement is supposed to be caused by the Earth's rotation. But... Then look down at, at the clouds. The clouds are going perpendicular to the path of the stars. And not only that, but the clouds are moving and the surface of the earth isn't. So there's several things wrong with this, video, this short video. Like The path of the stars has nothing to do with the atmosphere, and the atmosphere has nothing to do with the surface of the earth. These are three different things going on. And look at the clouds. There's, they're going different directions. It's circulation. It has nothing to do with the rotation of the Earth. There is no rotation of the Earth. All these three things are, are taking place all on their own. I mean, the Earth is sitting still. The, the atmosphere and the clouds are... are uh, the clouds are evidence of what the atmosphere is doing. It's doing its own thing because of temperature changes. And then the stars are, are doing their own path because the universe is rotating around Earth. These things, these things have nothing to do with each other. I mean, there's no rotation of the Earth. I mean, look at the clouds going different directions. So there's several things wrong in this picture. And, you know, I welcome anybody with a big university degree or college degree, you know. I don't care if you're a professor or you've been in university for 30 years. Why don't you explain to us why we're not seeing what they're teaching, you know, because we're not. Now, now, here's another funny video. Like, this is a video that is meant to show that the Earth is rotating, but the stars are not. And it's pretty comical because this video actually proves the opposite. What this is, is somebody is keeping the camera on the stars, and what you're seeing is the difference. Otherwise, this camera would be turned upside down right now. Can you imagine standing at a distance and watching this camera? It's turned upside down. I mean, how does that the laws of gravity work with that? All this is is somebody focusing on a star and following the star and then uh, you're seeing the difference with the surface of the earth and I mean this is funny because this actually shows that it is the stars moving because that they're focusing on the stars and as the stars go by you're seeing the difference in the earth do you know what I mean like see this camera would be on, on its side right now it's not adding up it's a hoax and that's what it's come to. Like now they're making hoax videos to show that the Earth is spinning. But it's funny because like like they're so poorly done that it's not hard to see at all. And you know this next video was apparently done by a university, and it is apparently from outer space showing the Earth spinning. But now look at. The direction the Earth is spinning in is perpendicular to the path of the stars. But then when we're on Earth looking at star trails, they say, oh, well, the star trails, you're seeing that because uh, the Earth's spinning. But they're going perpendicular directions, not even opposite directions. You know? So, I mean, look at the evidence. Look at the path of the clouds. Look at the star trails. You know? Look closely at the star trails. There's a lot to be seen. I mean... They can be interpreted two different ways. Some people are going to think that it's from the rotation of the earth. And, and some people are going to believe the Bible and what it says. And that it's, you know, the, the sun and the universe are rotating around a stationary earth. Which, of course, is what I believe. And the Bible tells us that the earth was made first. And, and the sun and the moon and, and the stars were made after the earth was. And so the earth was here first. And the Bible also tells us that it's the sun that travels around the earth. And it has its own circuit. It's a spiral path it takes um, throughout the year, and that's why it rises and sets in a slightly different place every day. 
And that's why you get a few minutes difference, light change every day. And so you can believe what, what they're teaching, and, and but I just want to warn you that, that science has been wrong many times, and, and not all science is bad. I'm not against science. Like some people have said, I, I'm not against science at all. Look at the arcs here going in different directions. Um, anyways, uh, I'm not against science. I'm against false science. And, and you know that the science is wrong when it contradicts the Bible. Because the Bible is never wrong. Because God never lies. And don't be intimidated by anybody that thinks they got a big degree and they're all arrogant and proud. Don't be intimidated one bit. Because if they're contradicting the Bible, they are absolutely dead wrong. And you can take that to the bank. And you don't have to be intimidated by these guys. They've got egos, and they've got something to prove, but don't worry about it. Look at the evidence. Use your own brain. And, you know, like if some guy came up to you and said, you know what, the sky is not blue. I've been in university for 30 years. The sky is not blue. Like, are you going to listen to him, or are you just going to trust your eyes and just say, you know what, the guy's wrong. The sky is blue. I can see the sky is blue, and, and I don't care how smart he thinks he is or how arrogant he is. The sky is simply blue, and so... <laughs> You know, what do you do? It's come down to that. I mean, uh, so don't get intimidated. If they're contradicting the Word of God, they're dead wrong. And like, your science textbooks are constantly changing. It's been wrong before. It's been wrong in the past. But the Word of God never changes. And the Word of God has told us amazing things even thousands of years ago. The Bible has told us amazing things. And it never lies, and it's accurate, and it's ahead of science. So they act like the Bible is behind science. The Bible is actually ahead of science. And, and man is struggling to catch up to science. There's things that God understands that the science community just does not understand, and, and isn't even close to understanding. And me included. But anyways, just use your brain, and trust the Bible, and, and don't fall for these arrogant guys that just go on and on. Trust the Bible, and God bless you.